Hello everyone, this is Ashwin. Uh, this video is a kind of video uh, which shows a demo of a COVID-19 prediction dashboard which I have recently built. So this project can be divided into two different phases. The first one is general dashboard which in which uh, WHO has been provided also a similar dashboard has been provided by Worldometers. Even Indian government has produced a dashboard to view the number of cases, number of deaths, number of recovered and number of active cases. So the first stage of this dashboard is a kind of similar one. So in which if we select a particular country, we can get the number of cases, number of deaths uh, based on the country. So here I have selected five different countries here, China, Italy, US, Spain and Germany, which are leading the chart. So within these five countries, the cases are nearly five lakh. So here we have provided a graph, which, so this interface is built using Flask and Dash, which are libraries of Python. So also Plotly, I have used it to visualize completely. So suppose this blue line, it indicates China. See how it gradually grows. In the beginning, there are nearly, yeah. By March 1 itself, China has caused 80,000 cases, but now it stays at 82K. When you, when you look at the US, which is growing gradually, so, for March 30, the cases are 1,62,000. It is showing that. So let us take a single country. So I will take US. So we can see there are nearly 1,62,000 number of cases registered in which 2,978 deaths, 5,644 recoveries and active cases are 1,53,000. So uh, one thing is these are the cases registered up to March 30. So, which means yesterday, today the date of recording is 31st March. So, please do consider that. And you can see the graph here. This is the first stage. So, even we can see India in the chart. And for, for live data streaming, I have used John Hopkins Research Center's live data set, um, which we can convert that as a pre-trained model. And I'm using that data set in this. So in India, the number of cases registered up to March 30 or 1,251, in which 32 deaths are registered and 102 are recovered, and 1,117 are active cases. This is the graph that we are seeing. And this is the first stage of this. So the second stage is about predicting. So based on the cases which are registered in the past and of today, oh, I tried with the linear regression model, which can predict the number of cases that will occur in the future. So here in this prediction, so I will choose India. Yeah. So here we get the India's prediction cases and peak cases. So this is India's prediction cases, which means with 99% confidence. So this is uh, what we are on today means up to March 30, the cases are one to five only. So this, So at this moment, the cases are 1251. So if this green line is a fitted model, fitted with a least squares and linear regression. So what happens is, so when you look at the future, so let us look at date with April 17, the number of cases which were assumed at this rate were 2322. So for April 20, April 12th. So when you look at the same on April 26, the projected model indicates that there is a chance of 2000, nearly 2,500 cases which are going to be registered on April 20. And one thing is, it is just an assumption, which um, which she assumed based on the previous graph, previous growth rate. So it is predicting that there are chances that by the end of the April, there may be 2,500 cases will, go, will be going to register. And yes, yes, this is a project. So, Again, as an overview, this is of two stages. The first thing is the first stage stores a general dashboard, which everyone gives. And the second one is an important one in which it shows the projection and peak. This peak graph is nothing but it's a histogram 
based model yeah and also we can see different countries data see let us assume this is us data So here we get US cases. So at the moment on March 30, the cases are 161,000 cases. And yes, we know that. So while going with the prediction rate of US cases by April 12, the chances are it may go up to 262,000. And by the end of the April, the chances are it goes up to 265,000 cases. So it is the projection rate of US. So we can also see other countries Italy is one which is largely affected so in the Italy the number of cases at the moment are one lakh two thousand on March 30 so when you look at the April 12, it may rise to 1,25,000. When you look at April 26, it may go up to 1,27,000. And if you want to get only the deaths, it is also possible. So the number of deaths in Italy are now 11,000. So by, while going with this rate, by April 12, the deaths may go up to 15 to 16,000. By the end of the April, it may go to 16,000. So with the growth rate. And also we can see the same within India. Deaths in India. In India at the moment, the deaths were 32 by March 30. And we, if we go with April 5, the, it may go up to 55 and if you look at April 12 it may go up to 66 by April 19 it may go up to 69 by the end of the April it may go up to 70 it is a case it is a worst case scenario that may be predicted based on the present data yeah that's all about this hope you like this dashboard which will be useful